Ah yes, Stalker Agropum Underground. To this day, I still think this is probably the best map for me in all of the Stalkers series. Simply because I think this is the the first map that does a really good transition between gunplay and horror. And this transition is what makes Stalker Stalker. Because before this, all you really do is just... Yeah, all there is exists is gunplay mechanics. You shoot a lot of people. Sometimes you might get a one or two scares from Yudan. But besides that, you're playing this like a normal first-person apocalyptic shooter. But once you get to this map, that's where everything changes. You get the horror, and that's where... After this part, you get the gunplay a bit more with the horror. But let's go more into detail what this truly is. So, first things first, what is a grappling underground? So, this is a collection a collection of tunnels and rooms beneath the Agrapum Research Institute. This part is vital to the main storyline, as the marked one must travel here to advance the quests to discover its origins. The player will first visit Shrelok's hideout during the early parts of the game after rescuing Mole. Here you can you can find some interesting loot in the hideout, such as uh, such as a bandit jacket, a sunrise suit, and unique fast shooting AKM-74 II. The tunnel is also full of anomalies, but also artifacts. The tunnel directly to the south of the entrance can be a gold mine for artifacts. Should one go down there between midnight and 5 a.m., the usually the usual artifacts you can also find are sparklers, a few flashes, and the electrodes. There are generous up to that can be generous and also also give you moonlights. The area is populated the by militaries and bandits, and a few mutants. But when you first read all of this, you're like, okay, so it seems like a bit of the general stuff we've been fighting nowadays, right? It's just like a bunch more AI uh, and uh, for so far. A some kind of really good atmosphere, right? So, let's start the mission and see what it has to offer. So, first off, uh, you go against the bandits. This is a normal group of six Sam bandits that are actually not that badly equipped with AKs and shotguns that might give you some trouble, but nothing that a quick nade won't solve. Right off the bat, you meet a, you meet with a bit of challenge, but nothing too big, right? Sometimes you might die one or two times to bandits just going off the corner and then head tapping you right away. But we're off to a good start. We have the the ambient of a bit of a bit of a horror. Maybe it seems like something is going wrong. We face a few bandits that are a bit hard, and then we meet with the stairs that go down to the basement or to more underground. And this is where you start tingling quite a bit so you go down the stairs and let's see what awaits you next you can already feel that uh, the warrior is intensifying so you decide to proceed to the next part okay. uh... so this part right here is when Stalker turns a turn to actually the horror part. This, I can tell you how much this scene is really well executed. You go for just uh, having your trusty gun in your hands, being like you're the most tough son of a bitch in t on, on the planet of the bird, and you're ready to kick ass for whatever appears. But this intense scream uh, just puts you off guard. For me, the first time I played, uh, it made me go... Uh, Look all the ways I didn't understand what was going on and understand why I was in trouble, what was coming out to get me. To this day, I still envy all the people that, are going, that in the future are going to experience this for the first time. Because this is actually a really great scene that will just get your heart pumping out of your chest, your blood running out, boiling, running, whatever. It makes you, it puts you into a serious mood of uh, paying attention. You're not just facing humans right now. You're facing some kind of new mutants that are invisible, can strike you at any time. And uh, let's talk about the mutant itself, right? So the first mutant you face is a bloodsucker. 
The Bloodsuckers can turn uh, invisible, and normally uh, in Shadow of Sh uh, Chernobyl you can only see a bit of their eyes. They'll co be completely invisible until they strike you, but when they strike you, it's too late because they'll do a ton of damage or they can grab you, suck the blood out of you, and pretty much kill you. This, you knowing that this exists, this is down here, puts you in a serious mood of paying attention to every single thing so you can hear the heavy breathing and then the heavy breathing gets closer closer and closer and that's when you know they're they're gonna strike you and this is where it, everything in your system just goes all out uh, and you're just like a bit uh, panicking looking sideways and everything after this you meet with a lot of military and I don't know what happened in the, my experience, but in this case, the military was just going, coming out of everywhere. They're coming out from the right quarters, the left quarters, just simply coming out of everywhere. And they were kind of like uh, putting me in a spot where I couldn't really fight them or had to go back and heal, uh, then putting some ammo and everything. While I was in the in the, the mentality that oh my god, what if a bloodsucker comes behind me and then finishes me off and I'm just dead? All of this made just a night tiny scream of the mutant made me think that holy moly, this just changed so much. I feel so lost. I feel so pumped. I feel like everything, you know. And this is where Stalker for me turned. It turn a turn to just great amazing and i can't wait to see what else comes next after you deal with the military it seems like the worst has come to pass and all you need to do is just go to a tunnel and grab the rewards the military documents you've been searching all this time for so pretty simple right you Came down the t uh, to the grapple undergrounds. You face some mutants. It seems like the worst has come to pass. You're ready to just leave and get out of here. Oh my boy, if it was only that easy. Right as you are about to make your way to the main tunnel and just make your way back, you get ambushed by two bloodsuckers that just spawn out of nowhere. This is the game's tension to just make it so you're not safe at all. Even if you're just making your way back to the place where you just cleared, the, you have to be on your toes and pay attention to every single thing that is going on. It keeps the tension still going, you know? And this is a perfect example of uh, just because you cleared that zone does not mean you should just take a st uh, stroll in a park. No, this is Stalker. You need to pay attention to everything. Because if not, uh, you're just going to die. So we heal up and we get ready for the next fight. We this time kill the two Bloodsuckers and we think that's the end of it. But we decide, hey, this has been such a good experience. Why just make our way back when we can just explore this bit and you even got a quest to get some military documents you know so let's explore this try and see if there's some other exits some other goodies you know let's just uh, see what it has to offer so you adventure deep into the uh, undergrounds and see what it has to offer we venture forward and what we find is a spiral upstairs it has a couple of military soldiers just one or two nothing too big deal we quickly make a we quickly make a deal out of them and just clear it super easy. Throw it a, maybe a an nade or two just to make sure we don't take any more damage since our armor is pretty much screwed at this point. Nothing really too big happens here. After dealing with the military, we, we come across a, a, t a long tunnel that seems to be the way out of here. So we're finally gonna get out of this and it's gonna be easy oh if it was only that simple <laughs> we to get out we're immediately ambushed by another mutant that we don't know anything about and this mutant is a controller uh, first off the controller just pops out of nowhere with a big yell and that puts you right uh, on stress to be like i have to kill it what is this i don't know what's going on my guns is coming it's just going down, I'm just getting sucked into the oblivion, 
And for some reason, I don't know why I get attacked by a group of rats. Maybe the controller here has some kind of superpower to control rats that just kills me. But I don't know. All of this just puts me in a big stress. Uh, and <laughs> so much that I pull my knife out because I don't even know what's going on. At last, I get vanquished by the, the group of rats. But just to tell you, when you do feel safe, feel like everything is over, Stalker will come out and say, no, you're not safe, you're not over. It's not over until you actually get out of this tunnel. It puts you always on high alert because anything can happen at any point. And it can be new stuff, you know, it can be a new mutant, it can be an ambush of of a squad but this game will always surprise you and put you on your feet to uh, to just uh, you know don't think like every everything is over you're in a clear and that's what I love about Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl the, the first mission and the, the underground uh, grapple for me is one of the best maps you could ever play that really improves the experience of the game and makes you want it more. So, that pretty much uh, finishes off of this video. Hope you guys like it. And if you guys have the same opinion, let me know. Or if you do think there's any other map, any other place that probably does this better. Or is also a major point where it got you invested on Stalker. But for now... We ended here and hope you guys enjoyed and uh, yeah, if you have any feedback, let me know. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next videos. Stay safe, stalkers.